Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Brittany Griner has been in Russian custody for nearly two months, arrested on drug-related charges in February. And now one of her fellow WNBA superstars is characterizing Griner's ongoing situation as a gender issue. WNBA Player Association President and six-time All-Star Neka Awumike, or Awumike, or Mike, I believe, discussed the circumstances surrounding Griner's detention on Good Morning America's Tuesday. When host Robin Roberts asked the Los Angeles Spark star if she thinks a gender issue is at play, Agumike offered a strong response. I mean, when is it not, Agumike said. It's disappointing that the question of it being a gender issue is top of mind now when it comes to this type of circumstance. The reality is that Griner is over there because of a gender issue, pay inequity. Griner was traveling to Russia to play for European powerhouse club UMMC at Big, excuse me, at Katerinburg, as she's done very w, as she's done every WNBA all season since 2014. About half of the WNBA players travel overseas in the winter to supplement their relatively low salaries from the domestic league. Stars command significantly higher salaries abroad than they could possibly earn in the states. Griner is the quintessential example of that pay, di that pay divide. This year, the seven-time WNBA All-Star was set to take home a league maximum $227,900 annual base salary. From the Phoenix Mercury, though, she's eligible to make more between bonuses and marketing opportunities as she stayed in the U.S. for the winter. But Griner reportedly earns $1 million per season with the UMMC at Katerinburg, according to the Arizona Republic's Jeff Metcalf. We don't want to play 12 months out of the year, Agumike said. We want to play over here. We're treated well overseas. That is the truth. But we don't want to feel as though we have to go over there to go get what we want to get at home. Agumike, the 2016 WNBA MVP, played overseas herself early in her career. She spent seven years competing in Russia, Poland, and China, when the WNBA season came to an end, and though she says part of the incentive for players to travel halfway across the world is to maintain our game, Aguamike conceded that the most players head abroad to supplement our incomes. Having, having taken their games overseas for years and walked similar paths to grinders ahead of her arrest, many players have been deeply impacted by the six foot nine stars detainment. Aguamike is no exception. BG is us, we are BG, that could have been us. Agumike said, we're really most concerned about her health and safety, especially her mental health. We're hearing that in the respect, she's okay, but we want her home. The 2022 WNBA season tips off the first week of May, while Grinder's next appearance in Russian court is scheduled for May 19. She faces up to 10 years in prison, and there's no timetable for her return. Check out Agumike's full interview on Good Morning America below. Now, my thing is this. If you're going overseas, this really ain't a, a, a gender um, issue. To me, this is more about a skin color issue. <laughs> That's all it's about is a skin color issue, skin tone issue. This is the problem that's going on over there because, for one, Brittany Griner got to understand you're traveling with an illegal substance. Now that this has happened, we all know what's going on. Russia trying to use her for leverage. But what Russians don't understand is the WNBA women's basketball players aren't aren't given that much luxury in the states. Now, if they would have kidnapped Sue Bird or, uh, or Tarasi, oh, America would have paid big money. Like, okay, we'll, we'll leverage something. But you also can't be stupid to um, carry something over there that's an illegal substance.
So, you know. She made this mistake. And that's what happens. They're not going to be in so much, um, they're not going to be in so much, um, quick to man, quick demand to, um, try to, um, get her out. So that's how it is. Um, it's sad that this is happening, but she put herself in this predicament. The way things are going, why would you even use a substance that you know is not legal? This is the problem. And, you know, I hope she um, is able to do what she got to do, but it is what it is. Things happen. You know, things happen, things are what they are, but at the same time, we have to understand is that nobody gives a damn about the WNBA over here. The only reason why the women won't stay overseas and do that is because they miss home. If you are an American and you were born here and all your friends and buddies are here, you're going to hate playing overseas. That a lot of them were making a lot of money overseas, but a lot of them came back. Hell, they were like, Shh, I miss home. And that's understandable. So that's why they go over there for Brittany Griner has to understand you're making one some million dollars overseas. Then you can still make your salary coming back. Why would you jeopardize that? So this is what it is. So let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Um, you know, I think they're just holding her just to hold her, think they could get some leverage, but they're not going to do that. They're going to let her stay over there. So, um, thank you guys for listening. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this, hit that notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. And if you love what you hear, you can donate to the page by going to my description box, hitting that link, um, you know, to my cash app. You know, and you can be able to um, donate whatever you desire. Not only that, you guys um, could do the premiere or um, you could do the premiere um, or the live. You can um, basically, shoot, you could basically um, donate in that in the super chat. So thank you guys for listening. We out. Deezy.